<laughs> well, speaking of driving, you'll soon be able to drive on a new piece of Montana Avenue in East El Paso. And it will be a site of relief for many people who use it regularly. The, com the completion of the Montana project is one step closer to nearing its end. Texan has been working to expand both westbound and eastbound lanes, but only the eastbound lanes are scheduled to open this Wednesday. It's a three-mile stretch of Montana from Yarborough to Sal Kleinfeld, which you can see here highlighted in green. ABC 7's Rosemary Montanez joins us live from Montana. Rosemary. Saul, Eric, during the day and during the night, this is a heavily trafficked area. But come Wednesday, with the opening of a small portion of highway here in Montana, it'll solve many problems. And drivers here are happy their traffic headache will end very soon. This project, as you might remember from three years ago, is nowhere close to what it looks right now. The Montana expansion project is one step closer to reaching its conclusion. By next summer, it will look like this. Especially Montana, the way it used to be, um, it was being, you know, it was already under capacity for the amount of traffic that we have. Come Wednesday morning, you'll be able to experience this Montana project. What it is, it's two new eastbound lanes that are open. It's an expressway that you'll be able to experience all 45 miles per hour, but there's no exits. But construction will continue, and TxDOT has a plea for the public. Be aware that this is still a work zone. Um, you know, it's still a work in progress. As you can see behind me, there's still work going on. As for some drivers... It looked pretty good. It looked like, you know what, this will work. This is actually going to work. Well, it should do a great job, I think. I mean, even though, you know, right now we're struggling, you know, to go through. And other drivers agree this will solve some of the issues here. It's kind of a headache because coming in and out is really crowded. Um, so hopefully that kind of alleviates some of the traffic. I think like our biggest concern is that like we're not going to be able to sleep at night because it's going to be extremely loud. As for how long the project will take start to finish? It's good. I, I, I'm the kind that believes if you ask for something, then don't cry about how long it's taking them to build it. You're used to like um, El Paso being a small town and built for like a small population and we're not that anymore. Like we have so many people now that it, it needs to be expanded. And additionally, it's important to note that the $144 million project will be completed next summer. Of course, we'll continue to update you as the project continues. But for now, in the east side, Rosemary Montañez, ABC7. All right, Rosemary.